जय शिवाय लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मंत्र अवेकनिंग टुडे हाउ मंत्र आर अवेकन्ड एंड हाउ टू रियली ब्रिंग आउट द इफेक्ट दैट दे मे हैव ऑन योर कॉन्शियसनेस इन योर लाइफ on the purpose that you may have for awakening a mantra see many times it is said in the scriptures that if you do uh, 100000 times if you do the japa of this mantra then it will be awakened or if you do that kind of uh, japa with 8000 times and with all these rituals then it will be awakened so how far all this is true and what it actually truly takes to awaken a mantra see for example you are chanting um, om shreem ashlakshmi vyu nama if you are chanting this mantra and uh, while chanting it you see if you are chanting using your vaikri vani means your uh, voice that you have in your throat so if you are chanting from that then what happens is or you might be using your uh, the sound that comes from your navel so you might be using that voice but if you are chanting it then at times suppose you have to chant it 108 times then many times it will happen that after 10 11 12 15 times that you have chanted it suddenly some thoughts will start happening to you you'll there will be a background noise and sometimes the background noise of the thoughts may be so much that it becomes the foreground and then you again come back to no 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 i was chanting and you come back to your chanting then again you try the same thing again you do the same thing and then slowly you get used to of that yes in between you are having thoughts and every time you get thoughts you actually some of the thoughts you actually catch them and you start thinking about those things which whatever it is that you are thinking and then your chanting the count of your chant may complete okay suppose you have to chant it 8000 times to awaken a mantra then it may be possible that it the count of 8000 completes but the mantra is still not awakened so or you may have to chant it like 100000 times and you chant it and you may think okay because my guru said it has to be chanted 100000 times and i did it so my mantra is awakened now but then why is it not working <laughs> whatever was supposed to happen because of awakening that mantra why is it not happening you may think like that and uh, that it's true actually mantra is not awakened just like that when the japa of a mantra the chanting of the mantra is done with full consciousness awareness only those count can be counted towards awakening a mantra the purpose of awakening a mantra is actually letting your energy body your pran maya kosha become like that become take the shape of the yantra become take the shape of the yantra that is created through that sound pattern create that sound pattern in your uh, energy body in your pran maya kosha your consciousness actually should become that vibrant that uh, according to the mantra so the purpose the real purpose of awakening a mantra is actually about awakening you as well okay it's not that you can go on sleeping thinking about dinner or thinking about this thinking about that and you think mantra will be awakened while you can sleep <laughs> you cannot be a sleeping person an unconscious person unaware you cannot stay unaware and think you will awaken the mantra you'll never be able to awaken a mantra like that with full awareness when you have no thought at all with full meditativeness when you awaken a mantra not only that it doesn't need 8000 counts or that many number of count counts it will get awakened really fast really soon enough and if you are chanting a mantra guru said chant the mantra 100000 time that it does not mean it doesn't mean that you can go on chanting and side by side you can go on thinking about just anything and everything you know you have to uh, chant the mantra you have to train yourself your mind your awareness your consciousness along with the 
awakening of mantra. So it's not just the mantra that awakens. It's you too who awakens, right? It's about you. <laughs> How can a sleeping person, an unaware, unconscious person have an awakened mantra? Many times gurus like, I always give an awakened mantra to my students and then I ask them to ch chant but I tell them you may chant just 11 times it does not matter to me just chant it 11 times but on, in those 11 times you must be 100% conscious be very focused so for a few days just keep your focus on your breath while you are chanting you may be chanting using your voice and slowly you may move on to chanting through your chanting in your mind just by recalling the mantra, re recalling the words, and then you may be chanting through pranayama. You may be doing a mantra on your prana. You can uh, do the do it through the breathing exercises as well. So, it regardless of whichever way you are doing it, my main point is, it's not just the mantra that has to be awakened. You have to be awakened, right? The consciousness that you are has to be awakened. So do not sleep while you try to awaken a mantra. Don't be unconscious, unaware when you try to awaken a mantra. Just chant it less. If you cannot focus for 5 minutes, just focus for 30 seconds. Just just have be meditative for 30 seconds, for 1 minute and then chant a mantra. Okay. So otherwise, rest of your counts will be the counts towards doing a preparation they will be counted as preparation towards the ultimate goal they are not the actual journey they are not the actual thing that you are doing after 100,000 counting or 8,000 of counting of a particular mantra you may be able to become meditative for 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes if that is the result very good very good but then whatever you count Whatever your count is while chanting um, and while being aware, while being conscious, 100% conscious, being meditative, that is the real count. That is the real time when which goes towards awakening a mantra for you. It's very important to understand how to awaken mantras and why they are not awakened and how to fix all that. So it's a journey. It's a spiritual journey for you. It's not just about siddhis and all that. You have to be, you have to become more conscious, more aware and you have to awaken yourself. I hope you understand that. Namaste. Jai Shivaya.